Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today's video is a part of the Introduction to Beading series. In the first part I was talking about the different seed beads with sizes and manufacturers. In the second part I told you about the different type of beads that are most commonly used plus crystals, plus pearls and bugle beads and so on and so on. And if you haven't watched these two parts, I have a playlist introduction to beading that you could see here at this corner. In today's tutorial, I'm obviously talking about the different type of threads that you could use in beading and when to use them and in which project what thread you could use. So the main two type of threads are thermally bonded and regular nylon threads. Okay, first I'm going to talk about the thermally bonded threads. There are two manufacturers for them. One is Beadsmith with the Berkeley Fishing Company and they make Fireline. And the other one you will see it in your screen, it's uh, the Wildfire. I used uh, Wildfire in less of my projects. I mainly use Fireline. They are really similar and the plus of the Wildfire is that it's not that expensive and it has uh, a variety of colors that are missing here with the Fireline. But uh, I don't like using a lot of color threads. I prefer them too much with my beads. That is why I like the crystal color of the fire line. Here it is. And for some darker beads I use this uh, darker color as you may see. And what are the advantages of using fire line? Because it's thermally bonded and it's coated, it's really strong and it doesn't stretch. So if you need good tension in your work, it's better to use fire line than nylon thread. And also I like the fire line because it doesn't fray, it doesn't get curly, it doesn't split when punched with a sharp needle and it's really more difficult to cut it. And that is why uh, if you need a strong thread in a really long lasting project it's a good idea to use fire line. When it's not a good idea to use it, for example if you make fringe earrings and you need less tension if you don't know what fringe earrings are, you will see it in your screen. So if you need less tension, it's a good idea to use nylon thread instead of fire line. Here, what sizes I have. I have 0.006 inches size, which is the most commonly used. This is 0.15 in millimeters. Here I use 0.005 inches and it is 0.012 millimeters. It is sent to me by my friends from Beading School by Erica Sandor. And uh, this is 0.17 millimeters. This I bought from a local store and I like the strength of it so much. And also it doesn't make so much knots and it doesn't need waxing because it has a special coating that I like so much. Some people say that when they work with black fire line they have some uh, black leftovers on their fingers but I didn't notice anything like that. Okay so this is what I could say about fire line. Okay now I will talk about the nylon threads. Okay and what could I say about the nylon threads? I like this Nemo brand although some people say it's not good as the fire line but I could say it's good for some projects and it's better than the fire line for some projects. For example as I told you when you make uh, fringe earrings or when you do some loom beading techniques it's better to use this one and in other projects that you don't need so much tension. How to use this Nemo thread? It's a good idea when you take it out of your spool to stretch it a little bit and don't worry stretching it. It will have more tension in this way at a later stage of your work and it will be better. And what else you could do is put some wax on it. Don't worry about threading it because it's flat. 
and it easily goes through the eye of a beading needle. I like this feature that is flat, although sometimes it frays at the end. You could cut it again more cleanly to be able to put it on your beading needle. Some people say that they squeeze it with their pliers to make it flat, but I don't see why it's already flat. Another good thing is that the Nemo thread comes in variety of sizes and in variety of colors and you could choose according to your project. And it's really much less expensive compared to the Fireline. And it's good also for beading embroidery and it is the most commonly used thread, the nylon thread I mean. And there are so many other brands out there. Uh, there is 1G, there is Sono and so many others and they are more or less the same. So it doesn't matter so much which brand you choose. What else could I say about the sizes? They come from two zeros to size D. The D is the thickest one, I think. And uh, I use in my project size O, which is 0 0.15 millimeters and size D, which is 0 0.20 millimeters and they both work. Okay, so if you need less tension in your project, use Nemo other brand of nylon thread. And now I'm going to talk about the monofilament. Most of the professional channels out there that talk about beading don't even mention monofilament as an option of beading. I don't know why, maybe because it is the less expensive one, it is the easiest one to cut and it gets curly and tangly. Maybe these are the main reasons, but there are some advantages of using monofilament in some projects. I think when you make large earrings there is so much tension if you decide to use monofilament instead of fire line which is slipping a little bit because of the coating and uh, the Nemo thread which gets loose uh, with the time. So that is why sometimes when I make rings, I prefer to use monofilament. What are the sizes? Uh, here you see I have 0.14 millimeters. I usually use 0.15 in my tutorials. And this is an example of a Russian uh, monofilament thread, which is 0.18 millimeters. And uh, I like it so much as well. It's a little bit thick not for all the projects, maybe for bigger beads. And I ha also have 0 0.10. And I will show you some Chinese thread that is 0 0.25 millimeters and 0 0.30. It's extremely inexpensive and it's good to make experiments because if you use Fireline for experiments, it's not very good. You will give a lot of money and throw away a lot of expensive thread. That is why I'm usually for experiments using this thread. Another reason I like it is because it's so invisible in your projects. Sometimes you told me that you could see the thread when I'm making a jewelry piece and you don't like it, but when I use monofilament, you never say this. And even if I use crystal fire line, it's still visible. And even if I use, let's say, white Nemo thread with lighter beads, it's still seeing sometimes through the beads. And if you use several colors, let's say red and white and black, you always wonder what thread to choose. So if you pick white, it will be visible with the red and the black. If you choose black, it will be visible with the white. That is why sometimes monofilament is the right decision. Yeah, it gets really tingly and it's not a good idea to stretch it, by the way, because if you stretch it, it gets really curly and you can't work with it anymore. It makes so many knots. So it is just the opposite of the nylon thread. When you stretch it, it gets better. But when you stretch monofilament, it gets curly and you can't work with it anymore. 
Okay, guys, so this was all from me. Ah, another thing I wanted to mention is that you could use also a stretchy thread from for some project uh, for some bracelets. And here I have another example. This is for uh, some stretchy bracelet that you could make. So uh, this was all from me. If you have any comments, any questions, and any personal view of what I'm saying here, write it in the comment and I would be so happy to make a discussion. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. Down there in description, you will find a link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.